Hi everyone, it's Amber from The Sensible Mama. It's FYI Friday, and today I'm going to show you how to get your baby into the back carry position in a full buckle carrier. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> He's excited. Alright, so what I'm using today is the Soul Slings Full Buckle Carrier. The instructions are pretty similar for any kind of full buckle carrier, but I do suggest if you're using a different carrier than this one that you look at their instructions and just make sure that there's nothing special you need to do for that kind of carrier. So as you can see, I have the carrier facing toward the back, and I have it all set up to where once I pull this over my shoulders, as you can see, it's going to be already facing in the right direction. So a few caveats. Number one is that you need to practice this in a safe place first. I know you're all moms, I know you're very, very conscious about safety, but I feel impugned to say this just so that someone doesn't accidentally hurt their baby and feel like it was because I didn't tell them this, okay? So always make sure that you practice for the first couple times while standing over a soft kind of either like a bed or a couch or something like that. We practiced this many times over the bed with my husband standing nearby so that me and Roman could get used to it. The problem is sometimes they will get afraid and they will arch their backs and they'll start writhing around and as you're doing this maneuver that I'm about to show you that can get really dangerous with a squirmy baby. Okay, so here we go. As you can see I've got him sitting on my hip and he's just kind of resting on my dominant hip with my dominant arm. I'm going to start turning him around to position on my back, okay? But the first thing that I have to do is get this arm out from underneath him. So with much practice, I have learned how to shoot my hip out just a little bit like this, position him kind of halfway between the side of my hip and the back, and while holding his butt and his hip really firmly, I take this arm and move it over his head to here. Now this arm, <laughs> now this arm is able to protect his butt and I grab his other leg and spin him around like so, okay? Now as you can see, he's kind of straddling my back and I'm staying in a bent over position just to distribute his weight and make sure that I can catch him if he falls. With one hand still supporting his weight, I'm just reaching down and grabbing one of the backpack straps and pulling it over my shoulder. Now I can take this hand, move it around and support his butt underneath the carrier and now release this hand to pull this strap over my shoulder. Making sure that I'm supporting his weight at all times with one hand. So I'm going to snap the front clasp. Again, staying bent over so that his weight is supported. I can tighten the chest strap here to make sure that's nice and tight and comfortable. And then all I want to do is just check and make sure that his legs are in a good position. Now he's in a bad mood at this moment. Ordinarily I would spend much more time making sure that his arms are in a comfortable place. They seem to be kind of squished. There we go. And we're all set. Now what is perhaps more intimidating than getting them into the back carry position is getting them out of this position. One solution is always to just kind of sit down on the sofa and unclip and kind of just sit them there on the couch and that way you don't have to worry about them falling. But you don't always have that opportunity. Let's say you're at a zoo and you need to get them out of the back carry position. There's just not going to be a couch lying around. The good news is that you can get a baby out of the back carry position while still kind of keeping them in the carrier. So even though I kind of superman threw him around to the back uh, while I was getting him on, I can actually slide him around in my baby carrier while I'm getting him off. So again, I'm going to make sure I'm supporting his weight with my left hand because I'm going to be moving him around to the left side. So with his weight supported and leaning slightly forward, I'm going to unclip the chest clip remove my right arm and while supporting his weight with both hands I'm just going to spin the carrier around to my hip. I still have this strap on so he's still kind of supported by the carrier and once I get him safely to my hip I just undo the straps and he's good to go. <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> he just woke up from a nap so might be a little bit grumpy and once he's here I can very easily just get him down onto the floor. 
I'm gonna link some other videos down below that show you other ways to do this, particularly how to get them from front carry to back carry if you're more comfortable with that. I have more content on deck to show you how to use different baby carriers. I'm gonna to talk to you not just about soul slings, but about Lilla Baby and Ergo Baby and different carriers like that. If you wanna make sure you catch that content and you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. Thanks guys, happy baby wearing, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.